Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding number of bathrooms and bedrooms, both firstly using Python and MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions in each of these. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Airbnb interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. Find the average number of bathrooms and bedrooms for each city's property types. Output the result along with the city name and the property type. So basically, we have a data frame called Airbnb search details and our expected output is a pandas data frame. And these are the different columns and their data types of this uh, data frame called Airbnb search details. So you have room type, property type, right? Bathroom, city, uh, bedrooms beds etc right okay so let's uh, preview this table right so what do we have here uh, okay so we have you know id price property type room type etc different columns so we need average number of bathrooms and average number of bedrooms for each city and property type right so we have a property type column as well right so let's say okay so we have property type here right and we also have city column right so here so for each city and property type what is the average number of bedrooms and bathrooms right so we need that okay so how do we do that so basically if we you know group by the city and the property type right and then calculate the average of the bedrooms and the bathrooms column then you are going to basically get the get the average number of right bathrooms and bedrooms for each city's property type right so what we can do is from this data frame called airbnb search details we are grouping by right so group by and then we are grouping by two different columns firstly by city and then by property type why because if we look at the expected output this is how the expected output should be city property type and then average number of bedrooms and then average number of bathrooms right so we group by and then we can provide a list of columns that we want to group by so we write city then we write the second column called property type right okay so uh, always remember from from our last videos wherever you group by whichever columns th those became the index right but here in your output these should not be indexed they should be proper columns so at the end we need to do reset index as well right for now okay so once we have a group like right, for each city and property type we need to calculate the averages of the bedrooms column and the bathrooms column right so we provide the list of columns where we want to you know calculate the averages from so we write bedrooms right bedrooms column uh, yeah so this one bedrooms column and then there is also a bathrooms column right uh, we have the bathrooms column here so we provide bathrooms as well right okay and what do we need to calculate of these we need to calculate average right so how do we calculate average in python we write mean right so this will calculate the averages of these two columns then what do we need to do since we grouped by right so we will need to reset index let me run this to see like again like this is just reiterating the fact so because we have average number of bedrooms average number of bathrooms right but we don't have the city and the property type because those are right now indexed so we need to reset the index so we write reset index right let me run it again now we have the city and property type now everything is good except the aliases of the columns right obviously this is confusing like it says bedrooms and bathrooms but actually it holds the values of average number of bedrooms and bathrooms right so how can we rename it we can use the rename method so we write rename what do you want to rename the columns right so we write columns is equal to and then we can provide a dictionary right so key value pair so the key is going to be the old column name and value is going to be the new column name so the old column name is bedrooms and we need to change it from bedrooms to what n underscore bedrooms underscore average similarly we need to change it from bathrooms right bathrooms to what n 
bathrooms underscore average okay let me run this to see what happens okay so now we have the city property type and bedrooms average and bathroom average right so everything looks good uh, like right we have whatever we need uh, let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases everything is green right so yeah this is how we do this in python let's see an equivalent of this code in mysql okay so we have the same question uh, and let me run this table to see like we have the same stuff right so everything is same there is no change now what we need to do basically again same stuff but now the syntax is going to be changed so you need to firstly group by city and then property type and then return the city and property type and then calculate the averages of the column bedrooms and bathrooms right and alias it to whatever we require right so whatever we require okay so we can go ahead and write select star from airbnb search details you can group by the column city and then by property type right then what you can do is you can return city and property type and then you need to calculate average right so one thing did you notice here we are using avg right average and in python we used dot mean right so remember like we are doing the same stuff but there is slight syntax differences or the name of the method differs in python and sql right so that is the language of each of the coding languages that you need to learn but if you understand the concept because if you see it does not matter uh, like whether you are using mysql or python right if you know the concept the same concept we are applying in both python as well as in mysql so if you know the concept uh, programming languages does not matter right so average of bathrooms column and you need to alias this by so average bathrooms column aliased as n bathrooms average and then average of bedrooms column right aliased as n bedrooms average okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yep, we got it right uh, city property name and bathrooms average and bedrooms average here we have nyc first but the question does not says anything about uh, we need to order by city name or any any of the columns right so it does not matter uh, let me go ahead and submit to, to see if it passes all the test cases so yep it passes all the test cases everything is in green so yeah this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was from this data frame or table called airbnb search details you grouped by the city and property type so in python you had to reset your index because whenever you group by that becomes those columns became the index so you reset the index in python return the mean of the bathrooms and the bedrooms columns and alias it add to whatever was required similarly in mysql we did the same but here we don't need to do reset index because like there is nothing like that where you group by that becomes index right in mysql and yeah so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video